Hey, so in this video, I'm gonna teach you how to provide internet access to your AWS EC2 instances, but we're gonna do everything from scratch. We're gonna build our own VPC, build our own subnet, a route table, internet gateway, all of those things in this video. So let's get into it. All right, so to dive into the architecture of what we're building today, we will be building a VPC or a virtual private cloud. Within that VPC, we'll create a public subnet, which grants the ability to provide public IPs to EC2 instances that we spin up. And once this is all said and done, we are going to be able to SSH into this EC2 instance using the EC2 instance connect service. But then also our EC2 instance will be able to connect out to the public internet. And it does so via a VPC internet gateway but it's not all out of the box. We do have to build all this. We do have to configure it, especially the route table. We have to give a path from this EC2 instance to the VPC internet gateway, which will then take us out to the internet. And then at the end of this, we'll be able to access google.com. So let's hop over to the console and start building this. From here, we're gonna go ahead and select VPC and create a new VPC. Make sure you've selected VPC only. Give it a name, I will do prod VPC. Give it a CIDR range, 10.0.0.0 slash 16 works. We'll click on create VPC. From here, move on over to subnets and we'll create our first subnet. Make sure we've selected the VPC we've just created. As for a subnet name, I like to be pretty descriptive, so I'll name it that. This US East 1A is my region and the availability zone that I'm selecting for this subnet. The CIDR block will use 10.0.0.0 slash 24 and then go ahead and create the subnet. Now, one thing we wanna do is make sure that we have IP addresses that are automatically assigned public ones. So we'll select the subnet we've just created, go to actions, go to subnet settings, and then click this box of enable auto assign public IPv4 address, hit save. What this will do is when we spin up an EC2 instance later, it'll automatically associate that with a public IP address. Now, next up, we'll create an internet gateway here. Go to create internet gateway. I'll name mine prod IGW and then hit create. Now from there, we can attach to a VPC and we'll select the VPC we've just created. Now real quick, back to our diagram here. We've created the VPC, we've created the public subnet, and we've created the internet gateway. Now, what's missing here is the route table, so we have to define those paths. So let's go back to the console and create that route table. So the route table would be right here. It's already created by default. We just need to make sure that we've selected it, come down here to subnet associations, and we need to associate our subnet that we've just created. So at the top box here, edit subnet associations, select the one that we've just created and hit save associations. Now go ahead and select that route table once more, click on routes here, and then click on edit routes. So as you can see here, we already have a destination. What this is saying is this is for local traffic. So if we go back to the diagram, we're in the 10.0.0.0 slash 24 range here. So that route table has this path right here. So this is saying that, hey, if this EC2 instance attempts to connect to any other instances within this IP range, send it there. What we need to do now is say, hey, if I wanna to connect to the internet, google.com, well, we need it's not within our AWS environment, it's out, outside of here. So we need to create this default route and map that route to the internet gateway, and then the internet gateway can reach back out to Google. So let's go ahead and create that. We'll click on add route here, default path of 0000 slash zero. The target is going to be the internet gateway that we've created, so select that. Go ahead and hit save changes. Now from here, we need to start testing it. So let's go into our EC2 instances and launch an instance. I'll name mine server one. We can use the default AMI, the default instance type. For the key pair, we can do proceed without a key pair because we'll be using the EC2 instance connect service. What we do need to change though is the network settings. So click on edit, change the VPC to the one we've just created. Likewise, make sure that the subnet we've created is selected as well. Here we have auto assign public IP. It's enabled by default. That's because we set that up at the subnet level. We could disable it, but we'll keep it as enabled for now. Now down here, we'll create a security group. I will name this SSH access. Same with the description, same with the description down here. This is saying, hey, we're gonna have an inbound security group rule that says SSH TCP 22 from anywhere. Now I would recommend if you're just testing this out in your environment, 
you might want to use your IP here. I don't want to show off my IP for everyone, so I'm going to keep this as anywhere. And then from there, all we have to do is click on launch. Now, once your server is up and running, go ahead and click on it. Click on connect here and then EC2 instance connect. So we're able to connect to this because we have a public IP address. We'll go ahead, click on connect here. It'll spin up a console window here. Now from here, we can test our internet connection. I'll do a curl command. And if this works, this should pull google.com. And it does. So we now have internet access outbound for our EC2 instance. So that's it for this video. Thanks for watching.